I think a little bit of both. But the first thing I'd say is we're going through a revolution right now. You know, when you look back at the history of tech, you have the industrial revolution to the telecom to the digital, and now what we see is the productivity slash time savings. Revolution. So these things are inevitable. But what's happening is, and I think what's so head spinning, is that this revolution is taking place at a breakneck speeds in, in, in a way that we've never seen before as technology has been pulled forward. So when you talk about NASDAQ reaching new highs and these big tech companies um, uh, at 30% or so of the SP, I think it's less about a sector being too overweight versus a realization about how big this disruption really is. So give me some of your favorite companies. Yeah, so uh, so we think tech is bifurcated into two. You know, first you have the essential infrastructure services. We continue to be long Amazon, Apple, and Facebook, though we did trim shares on uh, Facebook and Apple, uh, but still gung ho on Amazon. And uh, and on the new tech side, the companies that are actually leveraging and providing that productivity benefits, we like Slack, we like Square, and Spotify. It's interesting you say productivity and time saving because a lot of people feel like they're wasting their time with all these yeah. different messaging apps and they're sitting yeah. on one Zoom call after another after another. Sure. Um, just kind of summarize that if you can and also give us a sense for you know how much these names might how much room these names might have to run. I think a tremendous amount of room. I mean, you look, look at these companies. You know, a company like Slack is disrupting the way communication happens from um, uh, the early stages of a company to a later stage. You have a company like Spotify that's completely transforming how you uh, access audio and how you monetize audio. And Square is doing uh, similar things on the data front on the, uh, on the small business front. So what we think about time savings and productivity is how can we lead to, which companies can lead to a step function change in terms of how uh, qu quickly we can deploy assets and how quickly uh, we can translate those time savings into other avenues of our business. So that so we don't really think about work from home per se. It's it's more about which companies are disrupting the entire old paradigm in terms of how we operate. Let's spend one extra moment on Spotify, which got a downgrade today because the analyst was concerned yeah. they don't monetize podcasts as well as they do music, and that's clearly where they're betting their future. Yeah, I mean, look, we've done well on the stock over the uh, last couple of months, but. The fact of the matter is we think it has, uh, the, the hope has gotten slightly ahead of where the, the monetization prospects lie. You know, we think this is a three to five year play. Um, a lot of hope and optimism has been built in with the big name deals that they've had. But when you think about how do, how do you monetize audio, how do you do it in a, in a scale, uh, scaled way, in, in a way that's really unrivaled uh, within, the, within the market, we think that there's tremendous opportunity from here. But yeah, I mean, near term, it's not going to be something that's going to be a massive uptick on the next quarter.